So now we can see this like running list. We can see this running list of comments. And so when people now are writing comments, it's going to keep the old comments in there. It's going to have their name because it's pulling from that Office 365 users. Then it's going to pull in the date. And you can see the time right now. It's 1058. Maybe if we give it a, another minute, it'll be 1059. Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions and I am Andrew Hess. So I had a project come in or a project request and they wanted a power app that could record the comments but like a running a running total I guess of the comments so you would see the previous comments, the name of the person who created it and the date. Now of course you could do that with SharePoint versioning uh, and see the SharePoint version history but they wanted to see it in the power app. Now I, I have been using this Power App over and over, so if you want to learn how I did any of this other stuff, uh, it's probably in one of my previous videos. Feel free to ask, and I'll point you in the right direction. And I am using SharePoint as my data source right now. Now you could use Excel or SQL or you know whatever, wherever you want to use your data source, but I'm using SharePoint. And I created a comments field, and it's a multi-line text field. So I have a new comments field here. So let's go back to Power App. So Let's say we wanted to create a new task. And so we have our new tasks here. I'm going to add a new button and it's just gonna to go to comments. Now you can design the UI however you want, right? But I'm just gonna to navigate to my screen three. So I created a new blank screen over here and it's gonna say comments. So this is just a comments button and it's gonna to navigate to a blank screen. So we're on this blank screen that comes with the comments button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two text parts. I'm gonna add a rich text editor. This is where we're gonna write the comments. And then we're gonna have an HTML text below that. So I did update my task list with one comment here. You know, So this is what we will see in Power Apps. So in the HTML text editor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say it's equal to my gallery. So if we go back to screen two here, we can see my gallery. My gallery is called gallery three. You know, we can rename it if we wanted to, to um, gal tasks. That way, just so you know, I just renamed that gallery. So now in here, in my HTML text, I'm gonna say it's equal to gal task.selected.comments. All right, so let's um, create a back button just real simply, just in case we need to go back. So this will take us back. All right, so let's uh, go in from screen two. This is our gallery. We're gonna click on create work breakdown structure and then we see you know our fields here and then comments. And so you notice that what we see down here is this is what you will see in Power Apps. That's exactly what aligns in my create work breakdown structure task. So this is what you will see in Power Apps. So in the rich text editor web part, what we want to do is we want to create a patch statement. So I'm going to create a button. And this button is going to say submit. And in the submit on the all, on select statement, what we're going to do is we're going to say patch. So we're going to do a patch statement. This is a little bit different. What are we going to patch? We're going to patch my tasks. My tasks is the name of my SharePoint list. We're going to patch my tasks. And the record that we're going to use as default is going to be gallery. Oh no, gal tasks.selected. So that will be our, our default. And then what we're going to patch is going to be the comments field and patch with our rich text editor web part. So we're gonna come here, rename it. So I'm gonna say rich, rich comments. That's what I'm gonna call it. So rich comments, we'll go back to our submit button. We'll call it rich comments.html text. 
All right, so right now we have some default text in here. This is some new text. When we write, it replaces. It replaces. So I'm going to go through this step by step. So right now we're replacing the text, but we want a running total. So what I'm going to do is in our patch statement, I'm going to say in the comments, we're writing the rich comments.html text. I'm going to say and, and you'll notice I renamed this HTML comments, HTML comments.html text. All right, so now let's take a look. It replaces some text. It replaces, it replaces, it replaces. Now, this gets into more what I was thinking about, and that was SharePoint, a multi-line comments field. How many characters can be in a multi-line comments field? So let's see, um, SharePoint max characters, multi-line text. We can see here Google pulls up characters, so about 64,000 characters. So I'm going to put a little label up here just so we can watch. Because actually this is not, if you count each one of these characters, that's not the exact length. We're actually posting HTML text. So there's HTML text there. So I'm going to say this is length of HTML comments. Dot HTML text. So we can see right now I'm at 424 characters. So we have a, a good ways to go before we get to 64,000, right? So now that we have connected to Office 365 users, let's just take a look and put in a label. So in the label, what I want to see is Office 365 users, and I want to say dot my profile. So that's whoever's connected. Whoever's connected, my profile dot display name. All right, so it's going to pull in my name. So now I want to write that in the comments also. So in the submit button, after the rich comments, I want to show that that um, my username. And I'm, I'm going to make a little bit of a mistake on purpose here. I'm going to just say, okay, now show my username. So submit. So we can see here now again something right something new. Andrew Hess. It it's, shows it right under. Now the reason it's showing it under is because it's HTML text. So let's take a look at that text. I'm going to try and break this down for you. This comes after many years of writing HTML and writing code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new label. New label. And I, what I want to do is take only the left side of the HTML text. So right now are my rich comments. My rich comments dot HTML text. So you notice it has these P tags in here. What I want is everything before this P tag. What I would, do is I would get, like to get the left side of rich comments and then how many characters? I'm, I'm not sure how many characters, right? But what I am sure is I do can figure out the length of the comments here. So I'm gonna find the length of the rich comments dot HTML text. HTML text. And then I'm going to say minus, let's just do one for right now. Minus one. You notice we got rid of one tag. Minus two. Minus three. And finally, minus four. So you notice that we have the P tag. And then we have what we are written. And so now I'm going to pull this in to my patch statement. So instead of writing rich comments I'm gonna pull in that left-sided command and then we're gonna write again and this time I'm gonna write I can write without the P tag so now when I submit now when I submit you notice that my name is up here after the P tag and so we want a little bit of a space in there so I'm gonna keep working on that so right after that I'm gonna do and a space so let's try it again submit so now I can write without the P tag and then my name and now I'm just gonna keep building from there so my name 
and and we want a bold tag so I'm gonna write a bold tag in there so you notice I wrote a bold tag in there for display name so I'm gonna say and and then we'll end the bold tag so we're just we're just writing HTML in here so let's take another look we're missing an ampersand so let's take another look so we'll write again I can write without without the P tag bold now with bold so we're keeping a running total of these comments right so let's keep going now what I want to do is I want to pull in the now command exactly <laughs> so I'm going to say a blank I'm writing a blank in there and then I'm going to write now so let's take another look I can add the date so now we have wrote I can add the date my name and then the date and then let's put a little dash in there I just want to put a little dash in there um, right before my name instead of a blank we'll put a dash we'll put a blank a dash and a blank so now we can write a date and so now we have I can write many lines of text and I can see a running total of comments even if it's many lines of comments I'm just gonna you know paste this in there a few times because you know people may write many lines of comments so now we can see this like running list we can see this running list of comments and so when people now are writing comments it's going to keep the old comments in there it's going to have their name because it's pulling from that office 365 users then it's going to pull in the date and you can see the time right now it's 1058 maybe if we give it a another minute <clears throat> it'll be 1059 so it has the date has the time has my name and the comments that they wrote so this is how I did this requirement um, for my power app so now if we come back and we go to any um, you know test the product comments we see we have a blank comment here we have a blank comment on this task we're now writing the blank comment to the task with my name and my date and we can come back and then say a new person logs in does the co comments a new person logs in and they write a comment it's going to pull in and pull in their comment this is how I was able to solve this problem people wanted to see this running total of comments with someone's name and the date I just formatted the the text how I wanted it to and remove that P tag because it was an HTML text so if we format the text you'll be able to read it a little bit better so we're we're doing a patch statement and we're writing comments and we're pulling in the left so maybe if I format this a little better we're just how I did it so we're writing to the comments field of the gallery dot selected task we're writing the left side minus the length of the total comments minus the four characters of the p tag then we're adding a dash and we're adding a bold in HTML tags and then we're writing our name then we're removing the bold after our name adding a space adding now which is the date and then we're writing the previous comments that we had before back on top of the comments and that's how I solved that problem I think it was a, a little complex it, it's hard to explain exactly how I did this um, but I tried to break it down as much as I could let me know if this helps you or if this is something you can use in your power app in the future thank you guys for watching this is my SharePoint questions I'll see you next time